There are lots of dog hybrids where breeders have taken a popular, adorable breed and crossed it with a poodle. These poodle genes help to add a little more intelligence to the offspring, as well as the likelihood of a hypoallergenic coat. This is precisely what happened with the Puridoodle a standard poodle and Pyrenees mountain dog cross. In this video to this interesting poodle and great Pyrenees mix we aim to provide the best information on different factors about this dog. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique guide is in the description below. What should we call this dog? It is important to find the right name for this sort of hybrid dog. The problem here is that there are actually quite a few different names that are used by different owners and breeders. This can get a little confusing when dealing with breeders, shelters and other owners. Some use the term Pyrepu, others lengthen that to Pyrenispu to better highlight the mountain dog parentage. What do we need to know about the size of this dog? This is going to be a fairly big dog compared to some of the other doodles because of the size of the mountain dog. It is smaller than a mountain dog, but bigger than a standard poodle. It doesn't have the large build of the mountain dog, but is still an imposing figure. A full-grown Pyridoodle could have a weight of up to 120 pounds, though is unlikely to be that heavy, and a height of between 20 and 32 inches. The main problem is that you cannot know precisely why it is a smaller version of the Pyridoodle. The problem with the runt of the litter is that they often have health problems, and a shorter lifespan. On that note, the lifespan of this Pyridoodle should be around 11 to 12 years. Not that long, but longer than some larger breeds. The problem with a miniature poodle cross is that this is a bad idea for the mix. There are also some inexperienced breeders that may not know that a female mini poodle shouldn't carry the offspring of a larger dog like a mountain dog. Finally there is the issue of third generation doodle mixes. This situation means you don't really know what you are getting, and what to expect from the dog's traits. This is where a DNA test like Embark Breed Identification Dog DNA Test can help. The first benefit here with this at-home DNA testing kit is breed heritage. This means finding out precisely which breeds are in the genetic makeup of the dog. The result can determine a true poodle and mountain dog cross versus one that has a few other breeds in the mix. This outcome could help owners predict the temperament and behavioral issues with these dogs. The other benefit is the chance to learn more about any genetic health risks. These potential Great Pyrenees Doodles health risks include some joint problems in later life. There are also some dogs that develop bloat and digestive issues. Finally, regular checks in the ears are essential because of their shape. What personality and behavioral issues can new owners expect here? There are lots of positive traits to the personality of these dogs that makes them appealing as both working and family dogs. This is an affectionate dog that is keen to please its owner, with a protective streak. This protective streak means that some are keen to use this as a watchdog. This can work pretty well with the right training. However, some of these dogs are a bit timid, and don't always grow out of that wariness. This means that they may not want to confront strangers. This is a good family dog as long as owners bring in strong socialization training from an early age. There is also the potential problem with them wandering off and testing boundaries. Leash training is therefore essential to get them to stay put. Other considerations when taking care of these animals. Those that are used to mountain dogs will know about the big, thick coat on the Pyrenees dog. It usually calls for a furminator to handle big shedding seasons and can be a pain for those with allergies. Here there is a slightly different look and the potential for hypoallergenic hair as a bonus. There is a longer, wavier coat that is in between the fur of the two dog breeds in question. Owners still may end up vacuuming a bit, but there will be less dander and allergens to deal with. Grooming can be a fun task with the right mindset. You will also see from images of Pyridoodle puppies that there are different coat colors. 
Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.